Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's web video on multi-factor authentication presented by SWK's Managed Cloud Services and our information series. My name is John Esslinger. I'm Vice President of Sales for SWK's Managed Cloud Services Division, MCS for short. I'll briefly take you through today's agenda and then we'll get right into MFA. First, we'll talk about what is MFA, why MFA is so important, the additional risks that being a cloud forward company brings. We'll talk about a few other factors related to security and multi-factor authentication. We'll talk about MFA as part of our multi-layer defense strategy. And we'll discuss ways to be proactive in your business. First of all, let's talk about what multi-factor authentication is. Multi-factor authentication is a process whereby more than one, one form of credentials are required to access an application or web service. Most of us have already experienced MFA in some aspect of our life. Perhaps your personal banking or for access to your 401k account or your health services account. It usually takes the form of a randomly generated numeric passcode that's emailed or sent as a text message to your cell phone. The numeric passcode is then entered into a field on your login screen before access is granted to the application or web service. Let's talk about why multi-factor authentication is so important. Well, to start with, it's because your users' passwords get leaked every day due to a variety of reasons. Could be phishing scams, poor cyber hygiene, or data breaches. Hackers steal credentials and sell them for profit on the dark web. Another reason MFA is so important is what we call the risks of shadow IT. Your employees often introduce unmonitored devices into your company network. Quite often, compliance requires multi-factor authentication. Industries like financial services and banking require MS MFA for PCI compliance. It's part of a proactive approach to protecting your assets. I talked about cloud forward risk. The proliferation of cloud applications used as part of the digital transformation taking place in many businesses today is a primary example of being cloud forward. Many company functions are moving to the cloud. There's also a paradigm shift to the distributed workforce that's taken place since the pandemic began. You've got employees logging into company networks from home using personal computers that are not protected by firewalls. Your employees often introduce unmonitored devices into your company network. If you have a bring your own device policy, tablets, Cell phones are great examples of BYOD. Many employers like BYOD because it transfers some of the expense of IT to the employee, but they forget that it often brings additional risk. Other factors include security best practices are constantly playing catch up with bad actors. 
IT security has been a game of leapfrog for decades. Every time we secure something, the bad guys figure a new way to get around it. Multi-factor authentication is now required by, for many error and omission insurance policies in order to qualify for cybersecurity insurance coverage. For financial services firms, multi-factor authentication or something similar is obligated to be part of your business continuity planning. A data breach without MFA can result in extra fines and penalties. When stolen account credentials become available on the web, they can be used to access other accounts that use the same credentials. I think we all know somebody that uses the same credentials for virtually all of their accounts. At, at SWK Technologies, we subscribe to a multi-layered cybersecurity defense strategy. MFA is just one tool in our belt. Cybersecurity is not just a firewall and antivirus software anymore. All businesses need the following a firewall to secure your network perimeter, next generation antivirus for advanced endpoint protection, next generation antivirus products are designed with artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities that allows the software to learn your users' habits, where they log in from the IP addresses that they log in from. These tools are geared towards thwarting advanced attacks like ransomware. Basic antivirus software is no longer sufficient in a commercial environment. Regular vulnerability scanning and or penetration testing. It used to be only large companies performing these exercises on a regular basis. It's now highly recommended that even small and medium businesses take the care to perform scanning of some kind on a regular basis. You need to know what your network looks like to the outside world. Your public facing IP addresses may have exploitable vulnerabilities that can be used for scamming and phishing attacks and other types of malicious endeavors. Multi-factor authentication. Again, requiring two forms of credentials to get access to something makes it much more difficult for the criminals to copy somebody's credentials and get in with just a password Periodic dark web scanning, using your company's URL and special software tools, we can scan the dark web for the presence of your company's credentials on the black market. Full image data backups. It's no longer sufficient to do a file level backup of your data only to a USB hard drive, for example. You need a backup and recovery solution that makes complete images of your hard drives. Those images include the operating system, all the patches and updates that have been applied to the operating system, your applications, your data, your favorites, and so forth. Much faster recovery times can be achieved if you have a catastrophic failure and need to wheel in new hardware or have a, a ransomware attack and need to restore to new hardware. The biggest message in today's presentation is be proactive. Don't wait to become a victim. Don't have that I'm too small to be a target mentality or you will be. 
Multi-factor authentication is very affordable for almost all small and medium businesses. If you already use Microsoft 365 for mail, multi-factor authentication is built in and just needs to be implemented in your business. It may require a different subscription plan, but it is built into most of their plans and just needs to be activated. For those of you not on Microsoft 365 email, other economic MFA solutions are available from people like Duo and other third-party providers. Consider single sign-on or password managers. These products nicely complement multi-factor authentication and they eliminate the need for your employees to remember multiple passwords in order to perform their daily duties. That's today's presentation. Thank you for attending today's video. We hope you found it very helpful.